Good morning, Hawaii, and welcome back. The time now is 6.18. All right, so it's the return of pro football, and it got the social wire buzzing last night as the Jets took on the Cowboys. Yasmin Dar is back playing a little bit of Monday morning quarterback, and Yasmin, it seems like everyone's pointing the finger at the uh, Cowboys quarterback, Tony Romo. Yeah, that's right, Kenny. Even Tony Romo himself laughed at last night's 27-24 season opening loss. Romo came clean and said his fumble at the New York three-yard line and his interception pass lost the Cowboys game. Though fans weren't impressed with Romo's performance, they were appreciative of the tributes to the victims and heroes of the 9-11 attacks. Twitter lit up with messages about the flag overtaking the Jets field, former President George W. Bush's coin toss, and of course the Empire State Building and Twin Towers tributes. But the top two searches overnight were for cable star Andy Whitfield, who died in Australia of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The 39-year-old starred in the show Spartacus Blood and Sand. Whitfield was preparing for the second season when he was diagnosed 18 months ago. So tragic. And on a lighter news, Jennifer Lopez is already on the rebound. The A-list actress was caught last night on a date with Hangover star Bradley Cooper. The two went out at New York's Per Se restaurant and reported, reportedly paid $295 per person for the prefixed menu. Wow, I guess it's uh, love, new love isn't isn't cheap at all, Kenny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I believe whether they paid 295 bucks. But anyway, I think uh, it was comped. Yeah, I yeah, think, I probably. Think so. Those those celebrities, they get everything for free. <laughs> and yes, me and I heard uh, you and Maher were also walking the catwalk with some dogs in a fashion show this weekend. Yeah, we did. Uh, Maher and I made an appearance at the celebrities and their pets fashion show at the Hawaii Women's Expo at the Blaisdell this past weekend. On the left, that's me with my little baby bear. His name <laughs> is Jabba, and Maher Lunny was holding a dog from the Oahu SPCA and of course both of our dogs Mahea so cute in our Coco Jour fashions which we <laughs> modeled for them down the runway and I have to mention Mahea Lunny's son even made an appearance yeah I he wasn't planning up. on it but because uh, I didn't want to hold the dog and <laughs> hold my son at the same time because that could be a recipe mm -hmm. for disaster uh -huh. but after we were done with the fashion show he you know yes mean I gotta thank you for doing babysitting duty <laughs> because he was screaming to get on stage and uh, so I guess he ended up in the finale with you and Jordan Segundo yeah. and one of the service dogs who's a big pit bull and the owner of Coco Jour so you did a great job, oh, Yasmin. Sky was a star. <laughs> He's he a worked ham. it like his mommy. He's definitely uh, a ham. <laughs> I guess he likes being on stage. It is 6:20 right now. What's going on on the roads, Yasmin? Well, this morning we have a look at our travel times, Kenny, and we can see coming in from the windward side, off to a fantastic start, 22 minutes in from Kaneohe, and we have a live look at those city and county traffic cameras out 